Queensland Masters Athletics approached us earlier in the year to help them achieve their own objectives of promoting QMA, gaining new members, improving their website and promoting the upcoming national championships being held in Brisbane in 2020. After conducting an industry analysis and client critique, we found that external factors such as a rise in discretionary income amongst older Australians, increases in the use of social media, current trends in health and well-being, and access to government funding provide excellent opportunities for QMA. However, we also determined that QMA's main weaknesses are their struggle to gain new members, their lack of human resources and monetary funding, and their poor execution of integrated marketing communications. Currently, QMA's SIVA model looks like this. QMA successfully addresses the solution and value elements of the SIVA model through offering older Australians a wider variety of athletic events and training to improve health and well-being at both a competitive and a social level. It also offers a competitive pricing model where membership costs $287, including all competitions, and is lower than the national average of competitors. However, we believe that the improvements to the information and the access elements of this model will aid in achieving QMA's goals and objectives. Along with analysing QMA's current and target audiences, primary survey data also helped us to segment their audiences into three types of target consumers. After extensive research and analysis, we have outlined two main objectives that we believe will help QMA to achieve their goals outlined to us. We have specifically developed three realistic, measurable and time practical tactics in order to reach each objective. After evaluating the results of primary research from a survey that we conducted with over 50 participants, 70% of those surveyed had never heard of Queensland Masters Athletics. Consistent to the ADA model, a consumer must move through each step of the model during a purchase decision, and its first step is being brand awareness, which QMA clearly has a lack of. Therefore, Objective 1 will increase QMA's brand awareness through improving their online presence. After completing brand and market research, we have compiled two key objectives that will successfully accomplish the key objectives mentioned by QMA. The first objective is to improve brand awareness through online presence and the following three tactics should be carried out to complete this objective. Firstly, we are looking to increase website visits by 50% by June 30th, 2020. In order to achieve this tactic, we advise that the website is completely redone. One suggestion that is highly recommended is to invest in a web design service that can redo the website as well as educate chosen members from QMA to easily operate the back end of the website. With this investment being made in site design and training like this, the technology barrier that the club faces can be easily overcome. Additionally, training someone within QMA will ensure the longevity of the website as it will need to be frequently updated to stay relevant to QMA members and potential members, including the target markets of Determined Debbie, Social Simon and Time Poor Tracy. The second tactic is to increase audience interaction on Facebook by 50% by June 30th, 2020 through implementing a structured social media schedule. To accomplish this, there will be multiple schedule posts a week that are regular, consistent and frequent. Additionally, to ensure audience interaction continues to grow, a $50 tab will be kept on the QMA Facebook account to accommodate to post boosting, which will guarantee the post to be seen by a larger audience. Finally, to increase QMA's brand awareness through improving their online presence, we want to reach 5,000 views on four new promotional videos to be posted on YouTube by June 30th, 2020. In order to achieve this, four new promotional videos will need to be made and we suggest that they be done professionally. The proposed YouTube videos will be linked through posts on Facebook to promote the videos as well as increase the number of views and in turn brand awareness. In order for QMA to continue to grow and develop, they require more participants, funding and volunteers, which are all driven by membership numbers. Therefore, objective two is to simply gain new members. The first tactic to achieve this objective of gaining new members is to increase the number of online registrations by 20% by June 30th, 2020. In order to achieve this, we suggest the creation and operation of flyer handouts at community-based events and parks. This will allow direct targeting to the ideal markets of Determined Dewey, as research shows that 64% of older women get their daily exercise by walking around their neighbourhood and local parks. The flyer drop will also be set up in high foot traffic areas, such as shopping centres, to receive maximum exposure to the public. 
As an incentive for QMA members to run these flyer handouts as volunteers, there could be an offer to receive $10 discount on their next QMA annual membership, reducing the price to $55. Secondly, QMA will acquire 50 new members through Come and Try Days. By using a cross-promotion of advertising on Facebook, attendees will be offered a free sausage sizzle by liking QMA on Facebook. By advertising on Facebook and in the local community newsletters, this will reach the ideal market demographic. Demographics that relate to social Simon would be able to experience the non-competitive side of QMA that so many current members enjoy, as well as experience the aspects of beginner athletics before committing. The primary research conducted for this proposal showed that 83.64% of this target market use Facebook at least once a day. The third tactic of this objective involves gaining three new brand sponsors by June 30, 2020. In order to achieve this goal, QMA would need to make contact with local businesses that have customers within the target demographics. One example of an effective local business would be the Coffee Club. Businesses like the Coffee Club can offer financial or gift options for sponsorships. As the coffee club is also known amongst all markets, the coffee club would be a strong promotional asset for QMA. It would be ideal for the coffee club to provide branded water bottles that QMA can offer as refreshments. In return, the coffee club would be required to display QMA posters and hand out flyers. Our proposed budget is as follows. We anticipate the website development to cost $6,760. While the website is expensive, it is an asset that will serve QMA long into the future. The promotional video creation will cost $1,200. We have suggested that we do a letterbox drop for flyers, which will cost $227 for 5,000 flyers. When setting up the Facebook post boost, we will need a budget of a minimum $200, which works out to be $50 per promotional video made. We have also budgeted for a sausage sizzle at the come and try day, which will cost roughly $120 plus $135 for drinks on the day. In total, we estimate that the total budget to achieve this proposal will cost $8,794. When scheduling the social media timeline, we have dedicated specific dates to align with events or busy periods to maximize the public exposure of these posts. The dates are as followed on the Gantt chart. We have nominated October 21st to January the 20th for the website to be decoded. The video filming and development should be completed from November the 1st to the 15th. These videos should be posted on November the 15th, December 27th, January 10th and April the 3rd. Finally, we suggest a come and try day on January the 11th and flyer drops in the City Botanical Gardens on the 14th of November and the 12th of December. Mailbox drops will also be done at the beginning of the season on the 29th of October and then again closer to the national titles on the 3rd of April. As mentioned earlier, all of these selected dates are to coincide with upcoming specific events and important club dates. The objectives of the proposed plan will be measured in two sections as objective one and two. On each of the respective social media sites, Facebook, YouTube and the QMA website, the QMA admins of the accounts have access to statistics and analytics on how their uploads and information are being received and interacted with the public. On Facebook, the analytics will allow admins to determine what posts are successful and what areas need further improvement. The measurement of interactions is based around the amount of likes, comments or views on posts, photos and videos that are uploaded to the page. If a post is getting less interaction than other posts, a comparison should be made to see what can be altered and improved to fit the consumer trends more effectively. When measuring the performance of the website, we recommend using analytics such as the number of sessions, bounce rate statistics, engagement, devices, landing pages and exit pages. By using this data, QMA will be able to see what pages are getting the most interest and attention from members and prospective members. On YouTube, the same types of statistics should be analysed, such as likes, comments and subscribers as additional information to complement the proposed goal of 5,000 views on their videos. The second objective of gaining new members will be measured through the supervision of the member sign-up. We advise that once these strategies have been implemented, there is a section on the registration form asking where the soon-to-be members heard about QMA and if they are recurring members or not. This will allow QMA to track which avenue of advertising and brand awareness is generating the most members and where they should be focusing their attention and budget. 
By having an option for new members to express where they heard about QMA, we can then expand on the most effective avenue of gaining memberships.